the other thing you can do with your EXS sampler here is use some of the master filters to get even more of that kind of lo-fi sound. So if we turn on the cutoff, we can kind of, you know, get something a little bit more rolled off there. Don't want to go too far, but get something right that kind of dulls a little bit, gives it that hip hop vibe. And then if you want, you can also turn the fat knob on and it saturates. Okay? We want to overdo it. It totally slams your samples. So this is a cool way to get kind of a drum kit sounding interesting. Let's get a little drum beat happening. So sometimes you need a slightly longer run up at, at a track to really get the vibe in. So if we lay down the bass. So we got a little bass line there. Punch it in, move it up, same thing. I'm gonna quantize this a smidgen. Okay, cool. What I like to do with a bass sample, or a, a bass line rather, is Add in maybe a little distortion. Yeah, distortion 2 is cool in Logic. You turn the drive down, maybe turn the tone up a little bit. Kind of have it cut a little bit. Okay, so for the bass line, it's pretty straightforward. I'm going to cut it there. And then, uh, where are we at here? Okay, so. The note repeats itself there. There's kind of some weird, funky stuff going on here. Okay, we can live with that. We'll duplicate it by hitting Command R. Kind of let it run on for a little bit. Uh, make sure this is tight at the top here. Duplicate that. So now if we just listen real quick. We got a very elementary beginning to something here. And what I like to do sometimes, especially if I'm going for some vibe in Logic, I can quickly pull up a drummer track. And I set it to, uh, yeah, electronic. Ronnie's cool. And I got my drummer track here. Maybe put it on the second pass of the bass. You know, you're going to do an arrangement sequence a little bit later. Um, but you can put the fills down. So you don't want anything super protruding. You just kind of want some substance added. Right? Automatically getting some, some kind of stuff there. And layer it in real quiet. Well, cheating is not cheating. Like a lot of disco producers, house producers, yeah, they've got their top sure. layers, they got whatever. But the point is, um, you can actually convert this into MIDI right here. 
and turn it into a MIDI region that you, then you can manipulate and alter, which is also a really cool feature with Drummer. Um, it kind of automates some of the work for you, and then you can go in and, and really work your pattern the way you want. <laughs>